guys, it's Heidi, and today I'm going to show you guys how I make my ham and Swiss cheese pinwheels. These are really, really easy. I'm actually making these for dinner tonight, and we're going to have these on the side with a giant salad. So, you can see my husband, <laughs> Mark the Ham, uh, do not eat. This is part of the meal plan. <laughs> uh, anytime I buy any type of lunch meat, my kids will devour every single slice in like two days. And then I wouldn't have anything for my recipe to share with you guys. So I've got some sliced ham here. I'm just gonna open it up and go ahead and get it ready to use. And then I have some Swiss cheese that I bought from Costco. And if you don't like this combination, definitely make it, you know, the way that you would like it. You know, you could do pepperoni and mozzarella. You can do, um, you can do anything you want. Salami. Any kind of combination that your kids would like. And if you wouldn't. If they don't like cheese or you don't want to eat cheese, leave it out. I prefer, I like the ham and the Swiss, but my favorite, I have to say, is probably turkey and like provolone. That's probably one of my best. You want some refrigerated pizza crust? And I highly suggest you buy the name brand. I haven't really honestly been you know I am all for buying generics but there are certain things that are better which mine has I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees and I'm gonna roll this out this way and I'm gonna move this stuff a little bit and I'm going to put down just a little bit of flour um, just so that it doesn't stick to my surface when I go to roll it out because I'm going to roll it just a little bit thinner than it actually is. You don't need a lot of flour, just a little bit, just so that it doesn't stick. And I'll try to get a little bit of flour on my rolling pin before I roll these out. Now you just want to make sure, double check before you go loading it with your meat and everything that it's not sticking. Mine looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and start laying in the ham. You want to make sure that the meat covers the, you know, your surface because when you go to cut these into pinwheels, you want to have meat in every little nook and cranny of the pinwheel. So you have equal amounts in all sections of the pinwheels. If you hear a lot of doors shutting and commotion in this house today, we had another car break down and, <laughs> well, just had a lot of people here in and out all day today trying to fix things up because my son has to go out of town tomorrow. So, mom is inside cooking dinner. Now I'm just going to put on the cheese. more out. And now that you have this covered in your cheese, you want to roll this up. I roll from me 
forward it's easier that way and you want to roll this up as tight as you possibly can get it Now once it's rolled up, the last part, I kind of tuck in the meat and the cheese and I kind of pull the pizza dough up and then I tack it. Now once I get that all sealed, I kind of like to squeeze it just a little bit just to make sure that I get everything in there. And then you want to take a clean knife and you're going to cut it but before that you need to have your pan ready to put your items on and I have I'm just using my pizza round you guys have seen this in a lot of my videos and I'm just going to slice this and put bake it on my pizza round here we go I've got a lot of distractions today y'all <laughs> please bear with me so I'm going to cut these you can see all of your goodness is in there. I'm going to place them on my pizza round. I'll show it to you before I put it in the oven. You want to try to cut them all about the same size. Here they are on the pan and I'm going to slip them into a 350 degree oven for whatever my package says I usually bake them for about 10 to 15 minutes after 10 minutes I start coming back and checking them because um, I find that anytime you use any type of refrigerated dough of any kind whether it be your biscuits um, your crescent rolls whatever you use they have a tendency to get overly brown on the bottom so start checking them after about 10 minutes just to make sure that they're not getting too too brown sometimes I like to you know get into the oven and rotate my pan so that the baking is even evenly done on both sides so I'm going to slip these into the oven and then I will be back to show you these yummy goodness Okay, there the pinwheels are. I just took them off the pan and put them on a plate. They're really good. Like if you have somebody that's coming over, if you guys are a family that has game night and you guys are sitting around uh, playing games or uh, watching a movie, this is a great thing to have on the side. Uh, these are delicious. They're easy. They're inexpensive to make. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing this recipe. If you have any questions, leave it below and I will get back with you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up on this recipe and I will be talking to you all again soon. Bye-bye.